Yeah, I got two flashlights here that I'm going to test out tonight head to head. I'm not going to go into great deal on them. If you don't know anything about them or much about them, you can look that up. But on the right here is the Ace Beam W30. This is the new LEP flashlight laser excited phosphor has some incredible throw 2408 meters of throw is what they're rating this and like i said if you want to look this thing up and see more details go ahead the next light is my trusty through night tn42 at one time this was the farthest throwing flashlight i think that's 1550 meters that's 2408 this takes four 18650s and this takes one 217 700 batter xhp 35 and then brand new technology what we want to do is just go out i'm sure people would like to see the comparison difference between the two as far as light output and how far they throw and how concentrated the beam is and we're going to get out there and get rolling right away and i'll do uh try to do as many comparison shots as i can it's kind of hard to uh do good good video footage of this one we'll try to get it done so what do you say we get rolling all right, what I'm going to do here when it gets nightfall is this piece of insulation that I have hanging here. I'm going to hang my, possibly hang my lux meter on it. And we're going to do, let's get down to roughly 400 meters away, which is down at the end of that road for it climb. And I'm going to shine them light one at a time down against this insulation. I'm going to have the camera down here pointed at it. Be able to tell which one's brighter or dimmer or what and possibly see the lux from that far away. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how it'll work. All right. This is the TN42. And I'm shining down about 400 meters away or 437 yards. And that's where I'm going to be when I... Uh, go back and shine into that styrofoam. You're looking through the TN42 right here. Again, TN42. And right there is the Ace Beam W30. Again, that's the Ace Beam W30 at the 400 meter mark. Pretty tight beam. Ace Beam W30 through night TN42. Now this is a uh, what is it, over 2,000 movements, about 2,000. Ace Beam W30 at 500 movements. All right, I got the camera set up, pointed at that insulation, and I'm going to go down approximately about 400 meters away and shine this Brunite TN42 first back at it, and then we'll come back and look at, uh, see if I don't see anything on the Lux meter, and then we'll go down and shine the W30. Let me head out and shine the TN42. All right, that was the TN42. And that was three lux. Now we're going to do the... Uh, W30. All right, that was a W30. That was seven lux. The other one was 3, the TN42 was 3, and the W30 was 7. So that's a shining at a styrofoam, white styrofoam for 400 meters away. That's the amount of light you're going to bounce off from it at 400 meters. And then we'll take the normal shots here at these tree line in the background there at about 140. I'm down to 190. That hillside there, concentrate on the face of that hillside. That's about 240 meters away or about 260 some yards. And we'll possibly go from there. 
Now, there's some tree tops right there at 140 meters. What we're going to do is concentrate on in between that and there. And this is an ace beam W30, as you can see. Incredibly tight focus beam, and that's pushing out probably about 260 or more meters away. Ace beam and W30 and a through night TN42. Huge difference in the uh, amount of spill, has it? I'm going to do is turn them both on side by side to give you an idea here. Let's try the TN42. There's the Ace beam W30. Definitely a lot more hot spot as you can see there. Just blindingly bright. Now, would you be able to use this uh, ace beam to shine on stuff? I could guarantee you, you can. The camera's just more picking up the immediate tight throw. You'll have to excuse all the fireworks going off, but what I'm going to do is walk down there a little bit and shine each light back. Give you an idea. can see there this will probably be about the end I'm not on the high mode on the, the ASP or the through night there's the lowest mode on the through night yeah of course you're gonna have a lot more usable lights this is high for the through night and of course there's turbo lights everything up if you turn on the ace beam it's such a tight beam I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is turn my exposure way down and try shining these lights so I can barely pick up the through night. Alright, I had to crank my shutter up to 1 400th of a second ISO on 100. Right there is the through night on turbo. And there's the hot spot on the ace beam. Gives you a lot better idea at about 80 feet away. Unreal difference. Let's try that up closer against the wall. Alright, now I'm at 1,000 second shutter speed. That's the through night at about 8 feet away. Cranked all the way up. And there's the ace beams. W30. Video work done, and they uh, quit their uh, fireworks. But again, you're looking at through night and the ace beam. When you're punching out that far, you can really see a difference. Through nights up against, that's over 400 meters away, or about 450 yards. And you see that hot spot on an ace beam easily overtaking that. I know there's questions on if you can shine, shine that stuff. Ooh, that's right. But I'm telling you, you can use this as a spotlight pretty easy. But technology is going to get better and better on this uh, LEP, I'll tell you that right now. But for the time being, if somebody was interested, that's what you you can expect out of these guys. Pretty neat though, eh? Then throws to no end. There you go. Ace Bean, W30 versus Through Night, TN42. Until next time.